What is this? I asked you for dance hall. Now this fuck we that you're singing. And also we got Davin G, the little pussy. Davin, aka Cavin G. The guy's an emotional little pussy and we're gonna stick it on him today. Yeah, that's what we're calling Dan, uh, Davin G from now on, Cavin G. The guy is just a pussy with a camera, you know? Always getting in his feelings. The guy will say the most horrible and rude stuff about everyone else. If you say Davin's a bit unstable sometimes, what you fucking say, la? You fucking dirty rat bastard. You fucking work with them, la, la. You in a circle, you're gonna get me. You're gonna fucking get me, la. Well, Darren, today we are gonna get you, mate. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go deep on you. First, Darren the Mug G, Darren the Dicker G, Dan, Darren Cavan G. Let me just have a look at things. Darren G's been poking me for the longest. How respectful have I been with Darren G? How cool of nah, 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 nah. Fuck that shit, Dan. You can't even hold down a YouTube channel. This is how demented you are. You can't even hold down a YouTube channel, cuz. You get so mad, you must be thinking your YouTube channel's talking about you. Hey, hey, who made this video? I never made this video. This fucking channel taking the piss, la. New channel. He's had about 10 YouTube channels. He's blamed Sean Atwood, James English, Marv. Mate, get a fucking mirror, look in it, and there's the person you need to blame. Yeah, Karen G, people, that's his new name. Like, we tried to be nice, Daz. We tried to be nice. But you kept poking, innit? You kept sticking your finger in. Mm. You do not get to fucking commit crime, get away with it, get caught, send everyone else to jail, come out and tell everyone that they were grass and don't do crime. That's not how it works, my bro. Beat the geezer. When I met him, I see he was a bit unstable. I even said that to him. I said, but you are a bit paranoid, innit? You know, thinking I'm in his house, we can talk. But the, the, the dead look on his face is like, I let you in my house, do ain't lie? I was like, yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about, bro. But the guy's off key, off fucking key. And the action today was your final straw, Daz. That was it. Now, now it's on for you, bro. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna make you answer them questions or come off YouTube, innit? Every, bro, have you noticed why Davin G doesn't even have comments on his channel? He don't have comments on his channel because he does not want people knowing what he really is. The rat he really is. He's just getting it stuck on him left and right. Hey, Daz, get off of YouTube, bro. You can't handle it. You're an emotional wreck, yeah? That's what he does. He hides in a little gaff and a little bed sit. Make sure no one's around him. Make sure his neighbours are just some fucking 80 year old fucking victims. And he's like, right, let me start making videos and fucking rapping about people. Bro, like seriously, bro. You just, I tried to be nice with you, Darren. I even tried to look past the disrespect you were sending to me and everyone else. But like, you just pissed me off. The gloves are off. And we're beefing you down. Now I've got problems with Davin G. That little scarcer that grasped on everyone. Got people 30 years. And I swear the geezer was old. The geezer was about 50 years old, you grasped up. You basically give someone a life sentence. And then you want to call Liam Ditchy a grass. And then you want to call me a grass and everyone else a grass. When you literally give someone a life sentence. My God, people, the hypocrisy is crazy out here. It's crazy. And I, like, for the longest year, see if you don't know Davin G. See if you was like me last year and you wasn't on YouTube and you was just watching these fucking ex-cons embarrass themselves as beef and all the other shit, yeah? You'd be like, I kinda like this damn G, he makes me laugh. But see behind the scenes, the guy's a fucking bum, prick, idiot, weirdo. I went to meet Damn G at his house, yeah? I'm in his house, he's telling me, yeah, see Sean Atwood, yeah? He's got people that are on that, that work for him. And he says a certain word on his show and all them people get out and start typing and coming. And I looked at my pal, because my pal linked us up, yeah? I'm looking at my pal and I'm like, really? So Sean Atwood's got a key word that he's got for these trolls. And when he says that key word, yeah, fucking all these trolls start getting onto you. As he's telling me that, yeah, he's looking in my eyes. And his eyes are like, he's done like 10 lines of coke back to back. Now I'm feeling a bit nervous, I'm like, I'm thinking about all the stuff I said about this guy, I'm like, yeah, 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 I totally know what you mean, bro, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. so I'm sure that was sending signals through the TV to his trolls, and then they come at you. Totally agree with you, bro, totally understand, that is not a paranoid thing to think at all, you know what I'm saying?
I'm saying? The little weirdo, yeah? Like, every person he works with, within the space of once the interview's done and, he's, and, 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 and their content is out, within a month they have a nonce in the grass. The guy's been a grass. That's why he can't go back to Liverpool. That's why people are chasing him around with pine tins of fucking baked beans and that. Even the crackheads are like, is that Darren G? <laughs> and no one likes Darren G. I live in Camden where I was born and raised, my bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I've never done that shit. You talk about choose a life, not a knife. But then you're talking about telling the kids don't snitch. So you're putting the kids in a box. You're te- literally telling the kids, listen, stay away from crime, do this, do that. But if it gets on top, don't snitch. Don't do what I did. Huh? Don't do what Davin G did. You got someone 30 years, my bro. 30 fucking years. I haven't got no one person a day in prison. You've got the balls and the fucking, I don't even know what you'd call it, to go at people that are supporting you behind the scenes with money and all the other stuff.